Hello again, it's been a while since uh, we've posted anything on the YouTube channel, but here we are again today in a park in somewhere in Sydney. And today we're going to do more with satellite tele telephony. You're familiar with our good friend the Iridium 9555, we've made a couple of videos about that already. Also today we've got an interesting device, it's a Motorola Lex L10, it's a public safety grade LTE device. I apologise for the noise, we're next to a train line. Also today we have this over here. So this is an, it's a quite an old now, it's a good couple of years old, it's a, a Throat and Strain Explorer Vegan Inmarsat Terminal. Um, so the Vegan Terminal, there'll be a, a video uh, of showing you around this device in particular, but it does, it does uh, data and voice essentially in a small, in a small device, smallish device. Um, uses the Inmarsat network, so a completely different network to the Iridium network. And so we've seen before, we've done a, uh, a video of a call between a, uh, an Iridium device and a Global Star device. That's wildlife. Um, and today we're going to do a call between an Iridium device and an Inmarsat device, because we haven't done that before. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is dial into, uh, is dial into my... I've got a conference bridge. Just trying to remember the number. So I'm going to dial into a conference bridge. I'm going to put it on speaker. So you get the normal uh, tones, the Iridium tones as the call starts. You get the ringtone. You get the challenge. So that now, I've been, uh, I've been, let's see, to try and work out. So now I've been dropped into that, uh, I've been dropped into that call. It's now active. And so we might call it now from the Inmarsat device. So the Inmarsat device, I don't know if you can see this, uh, so there's a couple of things. You have to dial 00, 00 as an access code, the country code. Oh. I accidentally pressed the call button, so let's end that call and try again. Okay, sorry, we're just going to pick up where we left off. So you have to dial uh, an international code, an access code, an area code, then a number. With the Inmarsat, you also have to suffix it with a hash, and that is the indication that the call's in progress. I'm just going to cover the lens here. So you should be able to hear dialing. You hear the DTMF tones being passed over the signal. Alright, I'm getting a challenge, so I'm going to dial my pin. Except my Iridium phone's dropped out. <laughs> Which is fine. The unhappiness that is Iridium at the moment. So I've dropped into the conference bridge on the Inmarsat, so let's just pop that down there. The Inmarsat unfortunately doesn't have a speaker mode, so I can't put that on speaker with that particular handset. So what I'll do here, so this is my Motorola Lex 10, we'll wait for the Iridium to come back in. We've got a bit of tree cover and it's, um, it's not a great place for Iridium, but we do have a very nice clear path to the north for the... Um, we do have a very clear path to the north for the Inmarsat, which is why I've made that this video here. So I'm going to put this on speaker. I'm going to send the DTMF. So there you go, I'm now in that conference. So that's on speaker, and you can hear now as I talk into the MSO phone. You can hear that now coming out of the lens. And it's actually, and it's actually it's quite actually, good voice quality, quite when, good you voice quality when you think about it. There's um, a bit of um, delay about the same as you would have from an Iridium call. But I actually think the voice quality is just a touch better because the data rate is much higher with this MSO device. Um, so one of the beauties of Inmarsat is that now I've got a clear path to the north uh, from my location. It's a little bit northwesterly actually. I've got almost full signal from the satellite. And uh, once it's there and it's pointed, generally it's going to be pretty reliable. It does take a little bit of time to aim um, and to get... It does take a little bit of time to aim and get the... Uh, uh, and get the, the device yeah. in the right place and point in the right direction. But once it's there, it's pretty bulletproof. I'm going to end the call. Because we still have no Iridium. I'm still thinking about Iridium. So one of the benefits, I mean, this is the whole, this is the whole thing about satellite tele telephony, is that 
It's horses for courses. You've got an InMarsat device here. It's a little bit larger. You can get you can get InMarsat handsets, the iSat phone, for example, InMarsat handset. As long as you've got a clear line to the north, they're generally pretty good. They're bulletproof. If you've got a clear line, or from certainly from where we are in Australia, if you've got a clear line to the north, they're going to work no problems. The challenge really comes if you're behind a building in a canyon, in a valley, anywhere like that. You do not have that clear path to the north. You'll never get a signal, which is where the Iridium B really comes into play. You know, while at the moment now it's a little bit, uh, it's just thinking a little bit. Um, you do know that if you wait, you will get an iridium signal sooner or later. Um, and even if you are in a canyon, if you're in an urban canyon, if you're somewhere where there's some shadow into one particular direction, all you do is wait for a satellite pass. Uh, so I'll throw some comments in about how often the satellites orbit. If you wait for a satellite pass and you know that you will get an iridium signal, you know you'll be able to make a call. You know, even if it's for a couple of minutes, if you've got a lot of shadowing around you, you can definitely be able to get a call out or get a message out at that time. Uh, whereas with the uh, the Inmas app, obviously you have some challenges, but once it's there and once it's set up and once it's registered, it's pretty good. So we'll uh, try and get our Iridium pack, and then we'll make a back. little. It's back. Okay. Well, let's dial into the Iridium bridge again. Let's see what we can do. Let's do this simultaneously. I'll hit redial. I'll hit redial over here. Dialing them simultaneously. So the iridium's in the bridge. I'll mute it. There we go. Is it muted? Is this muted? I'll mute that. Okay. And just waiting for the Inmarsat call. I've got a dial tone. I've got DTMF tones. As it's been dialed, I'm waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. I had a ringtone, I've got a challenge. I'll put in the pin code for the conference bridge. And there we go. There we go. So we are, we're in. So we are, we're in. We've got an Iridium 955. Got a terrestrial Motorola Lex L10 LTE device. We've we'll got an Inmarsat Vegan. So let me hang up this one, and now we've got a pure Inmarsat Iridium call. And you can hear that delay there. It's not too bad. So it's entirely achievable, entirely reasonable to have that call. There you go. It's possible. It's done. So we'll see you next time when we find another new sat phone to, uh, to demo.